Another feeling I can't describe. I mean, my heart sank to my stomach. Um, it's, you know, it's uh, pretty heartbreaking. A heart-wrenching discovery for a local Olympian after a gold medal vanishes in a car break-in. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, the former softball player says having the medal has helped her during her ongoing cancer battle. And the moment I opened my door and I knew right then that my car had been broken into. Debbie Zampini made the discovery Tuesday morning in her driveway in Sabre Springs. The center console tray was on a seat. Her thought went right to something she had seen the previous night in that center console. It's something her friend Holly Wilson. It was another feeling I can't describe. Held close to her heart. Suddenly gone, Wilson's gold medal from the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. Wilson, as a teenage catcher, was an alternate for the first U.S. Olympic softball team, which struck gold. Heart beating out of her chest. There was nothing like it representing the country in that form. Decades later, Wilson would face a different fight. She says in 2018, she was diagnosed with cancer in her nasal cavity and brain. Chemo and radiation followed. Today, Wilson is still battling. When would you take the medal out to look at? Just on a sad day. I said I'd look at that medal sometimes and think, okay, I can persevere. You know, it's just one moment at a time. Wilson, the mother of two, says her kids, including her son, also take pride in the medal. He took it to school for show and tell and when he got in the car he's like here mom. Wilson says that day she placed it in her friend's center console and forgot about it until the break-in. I do know what it means to her and yeah it would mean everything to her. Some people might just look at it as a thing but to me and my kids it represented you know being a champion you know representing the USA. Michael Chen ABC 10 News. Wilson says the medal worth tens of thousands of dollars is engraved with the phrase Atlanta 1996. Anyone with information is asked to call San Diego police or Crime Stoppers.